The following interview was conducted with Betty Reed uh, for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Tuesday, August 24, 2010 at a residence in Lafayette. This is part two of the interviewer, and the interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the Oral History Library. Welcome. Good afternoon, Betty. Good Let's afternoon. Let's just um, pick up a couple things, any yeah. uh, reminiscences you might have of the, what the campus was when you were here in 41. Well, uh, I, I did a lot of walking because my grandmother lived north of the campus. And you lived with your grandmother. Yes, I lived said. with my grandmother. It was uh -huh. my dad's mother, and she was a graduate of 1890. You couldn't have had a more loyal Purdue fan than she was because she, there weren't too many women who, I think there were only five in her class that, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, that went to Purdue or went to a university, and uh, she was very proud of the fact. She was a was there, uh, What did her husband do? He was a farmer. Okay. And then when they retired, well, they moved to West Lafayette. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. So he was he had retired and that's why they yeah. moved to yeah. West Lafayette. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They rented the farm and then they moved to West Lafayette. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but um, you had to walk to the I had home to walk to the home economics uh, I bet there was as much traffic on Northwestern as there is no, today. No, but when it was snowing and wet it wasn't too pleasant. <laughs> well, I walked through the campus. Sure. Uh, it's, uh, it's still I think it's still an empty lot. And, but there was a path there. Sure. And, of course, you know, there weren't too many of the students that had cars or things in those mm -hmm. days. And, and uh, so we did a lot of walking. Yeah. But, um, you know, I was there for two years. And then I, uh, Dorothy Stratton joined the Waves. And we, there was a lot of publicity about it. And Helen Sleeman, too. They both joined at the same time. And... Uh, was there um, publicity in the community about it? Uh, yeah, there was, there was quite a bit. Was she yes. meaning probably tied in because of the fact that she was leaving the university yeah, to go to yeah. the waves. And it was, uh, you know, it was new. Women in the service were right. was unusual. And uh, so I think, I'm not quite sure, 42 is that when she went. When they started it, the President Roosevelt set up the Women's Reserve because they didn't have, uh, in the Coast Guard, there wasn't enough men to run the ships because the men were in the offices and doing all the work, you know. So the women took over the shore jobs, and I can't say some of the fellows that I knew were happy when we'd say, we sent you to sea. <laughs> we didn't have any call. No, they didn't if you'd asked us, it would have not They didn't been. have a choice. Right. But um, so I... Uh, well, we lived north of Fountain. Well, we lived in Fountain City, which is north of Richmond, on the other side of the state. And there was no Coast Guard recruiting in Indiana, and there were no offices. And I had to had choice either go to Chicago or uh, Cincinnati. And so I went to Cincinnati in December, and then uh, in Fort, This is in '42. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then in January, why the? Uh, that's when the train left, and I had to go back to Cincinnati to get on it. I think there was. January 3rd, mm -hmm. and then we took a two-day trip to, <clears throat> I remember sitting in the train at night in Atlanta. We, I think, sat there for three or four hours. <laughs> no no berths. You sit, was it sit-up? Yeah. All, yeah all the no, it was, Coach uh, all the way, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Done that a couple times. <laughs> but, um, and then we went to Palm Beach, Florida, and this is in January, so you can imagine what a girl from Indiana <laughs> Where it's January, freezing cold, right. getting to go to Florida, so there you that, go. that was a plus. You're right. But um, we did a, well, you had six weeks boot camp, which was just the basics, and we also had classes on the Coast Guard and the history and rules and things like that. And then uh, that was six weeks long, and then we went to, uh, uh, I went to storekeeper school, which was five months. And then in, in, the, in Palm Beach? Uh, all the same hotel right. it was called the name of the hotel was Biltmore but the Coast Guard called it SS Biltmore <laughs> it was our ship <laughs> but it was a pink pink it was very appropriate for women I thought but definitely yeah and it was just a uh, a block from the beach and we did our calisthenics on the beach oh well, that's hard to take yeah and of course we marched every day too you know but that was on the streets we had a, and then we had a parade ground where we were could march to. It was a pretty big field. And I'm sorry I don't have those pictures. I gave them to my son. He wanted to put them in a special book. So I do have quite a few pictures uh -huh. of those days. But sure. I imagine all these people were single. Oh, was no. you no. couldn't be married. No. No. You, you had to be single. Yeah. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the teachers? Were pri are they primarily all male, or did you have any? We did in? about half and half. Oh, oh We okay. did have some uh, spar officers. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. But uh, like the history and things like that, they were taught by male officers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, and I was trying to think. I well, I think I showed you that picture. Sure. How right. many? But I think there was quite a few, two hundred or so in a, in the company. Mm -hmm. And then when I went into storekeepers, there was twenty five in that class. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was all new roommates. And did I tell you about my boot roommates? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. They were pretty sad. <laughs> well, I don't want you to think I don't like all no. the spars, but. Um, well, there was a mixed group. It was a mixed group, and it was. They came from all over. Yeah. And. Was this, excuse me, was, a this, truck for driver. Training, was this training for, for anybody, even if you lived in California, you, they shipped everybody down to Florida? There weren't any no, other training that was camps. It. There was another, um, when the spars first, uh, well, they were part of the Navy to yeah. begin with. Right. Dorothy Stratton joined the Navy and then transferred to the spars. Right. But um, they, um, I forgot what I was yeah. going to no, say. We're talking about training. There was, you say, that, that, well, this was the only training site. Yeah, well, no, there, oh, the right. Navy had a place at uh, Manhattan Beach, New York, which is just outside of okay. New York City. And that was? That was the very first spar navy women's training and i know we had a well we had a roommate that broke out in a rash she was highly allergic allergic to some chemical in the water and they sent her to manhattan oh, okay. to get her out so it was still open when i was in sure okay but um but the main one really was in palm beach for the spars yeah yeah yeah, yeah it was and it was the only one mm -hmm. um so it was that's where everybody went uh, i think they did change well there was one in Kansas, because I remember one woman telling me she couldn't believe that she was in the middle of the country <laughs> to be a spar because she thought she ought to be on the water. And that was one nice thing about Palm Beach. We were on the water. Sure, exactly. But um, I, I was never on a ship, and that was one, dis and one disappointment about going to Mississippi is we thought we would get to get on that cutter, but it was the outside was beautiful, red, white, and blue, and it shone so nice. But... Um, the inside wasn't completed, and they wouldn't let us on it. Sure. Didn't want anything to happen, but uh, that was one disappointment. You have to wait until the commissioning. <laughs> I don't coming. think I'm going to be here. Oh, now. yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that was one nice thing about the trip to Mississippi was it was my birthday, and That's those right. women from Purdue, you know, knocked on our door and walked yeah. in singing happy birthday. I yeah, Betty said, said you guys had, they had a great time. Oh, my <laughs> Lord, it was really great. I said, yeah, the parties tend to be like that. <laughs> Especially when you have a big, big occasion. Yeah, and a cake. You saw the sure, picture yeah, of the, the cake. That right. was fabulous. That was for my neighbors. But uh, my neighbor lives across the street. She's from Mississippi, so that's really it wasn't that's any. Nice. You, you know, nice she found place. a bakery down there, and they really they even had it. The top layer was a huge bottom layer, and then a top layer. And the top layer was the Coast Guard. It was all decorated in red, white, and blue, and Coast Guard emblem and everything. She yeah. really. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> uh, this is a nice place to live because we. We do like our neighbors, and we care mm -hmm. for them. And like I said, a group of us went out for breakfast this morning. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have things like that occasionally. Oh, yeah, you need to do that. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you uh, just a little couple notes that after you got out of the service is when you... Well, the uh, Veterans Administration, of course, it was a fairly small organization, but with all the veterans being discharged, and they had an insurance branch, and we also... Um, they did a lot of recruiting to get women to fill their new offices and uh, you know when I was in service I made $50 a month well that's not a whole you don't save a lot on that and uh, so uh, it was just you know I got a considerably more money. What other benefits did they take was there any additional thing did they take your health care for you? They, they paid for that we didn't that didn't come out of our insurance. They so paid for that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. That, that, I don't know what it is now, but in oh, those no. days, it was just one of the pluses that you and, had. And when you left the service, was there a separate, did they give you some money when you got out? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And then we got money to, uh, see, that's what I did the last you year. Were I was in service. I discharged. Uh, a lot of the men that were coming back. Yeah. Yeah. When they disbanded the ship and so forth. Mm -hmm. But... Um, and you also no, told me that told you, were, you weren't like a travel agent. You had, yeah, you we, know, had, the we bus, had to... The bus route or the train route or whatever. We had to give them so much a mile. Because all those people were not from there. That's <laughs> yeah. where they got dumped off, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, they got, I think it was 15 cents a mile. 
But anyway, we had to figure it out sure. how many miles from New Orleans to where they lived. And you know, they someplace in New York or New York or something, it was a job. <laughs> But Take the was, closest city and go for it, yeah, you know? Yeah. If you if you run out of money, you can walk home. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get there somewhere. Well, in those there. days, there wasn't planes, you know. It was oh, no. Buses or, or a or train. Or a train, that's yeah, it. That right? was it. Yeah. <laughs> or if well, you, some of them had cars. Uh -huh. Not too many of them, but there were a couple of them that had cars. Sure. So that was a different that deal, too. That made it a little bit easier. <laughs> but no, it was... How did you like living in Chicago? Did you have an apartment there? Or? Well, um, or one of the girls home? I was in service with was uh -huh. from Chicago, and I lived with her for the first year. Okay. And then my sister lived on the south side of Chicago, and she found me an apartment, so I wasn't too far from sure. her. Sure, okay. And, uh, but, um, no, it was, uh, the VA was, of course, it was a starting up operation, too, you know, so it was... That Everything came after was the new. wars when that really started the Veterans yeah, Administration. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. To my knowledge, I yeah. never heard of it before. Of course, um, I don't. I don't ever remember hearing of it before. Did you do what sort of things did you do? Duties, at office things, or yeah, yeah. Was, store keepers were yeah. always in the office. We didn't. Uh, well, of course, when I went to New Orleans, uh, they were in charge of the naval store there. Yeah, so I, I did my. Them. Duties right. were different then, sure. but when I was in the separation center, it was just a desk job, right. eight to four. Right. Right. Okay. So there was nothing. Uh, but uh, then, uh, I don't remember too much about when the Veterans Administration was formed, but I have it. I don't even remember my dad talking about it as a World War I, it. so I think it was a World War II. Probably was, because there wasn't anything in between World War I and World War II. No, 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 no yeah. there wasn't. No. Okay. Yeah, so no. And then you, you left there and came back home to Kentland, right? Yeah, that well, you I husband? went home. Kentland was only about 50 miles, so yeah. I took the bus or something home uh, frequently, and uh, that's how I met Bud. And uh, he was a good dancer, and we went. Illinois dancing all the time, Ooh, but uh, <laughs> well, he was in the Air Force and they they danced a lot. <laughs> but no, you know, my parents said too that years ago. I mean, a lot there was you know, the, the hotels always had the ballrooms and you yeah. there for it was yeah. dining live, and dancing, live music. You know? Oh, yeah, lot, uh, absolutely. Yeah, it was it was lots of fun. Yeah, and uh, we we danced in New Orleans, uh, the one place that we. Uh, Casino Royal, which was in the French Quarter, they always had live music, yeah, small bands. Really nice. And yeah. no, it was nice. It was fun, mm -hmm. and uh, we danced with a lot of different people. That's right. Yeah. But uh, I don't. So you raised. I knew one girl that got married in New Orleans at the club, but the majority of us did not. Sure. We went okay. back home. Yeah. So then you raised your family, lived there, and then when did you decide to come to Lafayette? Well, we had three children. They were all six years apart. <laughs> so we oh, were doing it for a long time. <laughs> right. And, uh, and of course, we weren't... Uh, Bud was 28 and I was 26 when we got married, so we knew what we were doing. And, uh, but, uh, and of course, the daughter was the youngest one. The other two were boys, so the activities were different. But um, we came here... Um, my husband was an electrician in the war, in the Air Force, and uh, he got a part-time job uh, at St. Elizabeth Hospital, and uh, just after you sold the farm, gradually and moved up the ladder, you know. And he was off. He was the uh, um, head electrician, and uh, after a while, and uh, so he he was, wasn't a part-time job anymore, and so we decided that we because he couldn't do the farming and sure and. Uh, he did part of it. We always had hired men, but um, I did a lot of cooking. Oh, hired yeah. men to eat noon and sometimes supper. <laughs> Big meals, right? Yes, always dessert. <laughs> and we had a had a real nice young man working for us, and his brothers came and helped sometimes. And I remember one of them said, "Oh, Mrs. Reed, I love to eat at your house. You have seconds." <laughs> that, that's a good boat. Yeah. Sounds good. We keep coming back. <laughs> I see him every once in a while. <laughs> he see, they don't brings up the, but they, his family didn't have much money, and they just sure. their mother fixed their plate. They never got to have the second time around, and and uh, but no, I have a lot of. It's good funny memories. how things stick in your mind. Like oh yeah, you they know, do. You I remember those things. <laughs> yeah. I know how it was when I was young. <laughs> Sometimes parents tend to embellish that so you really don't forget it, you know? 
I know. Well, my dad was a high school principal, so oh. believe me, we knew how to toe the line. <laughs> 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 well, he taught uh, vocational ag. Oh, uh -huh. He got his master's from Purdue, too, and mm -hmm. uh, then he was a high school principal. So, you know, you know the rules and you follow them. Right. No deviation. <laughs> no. This is how it's going to be. <laughs> and this was in Shipshawana, you know, which is an Amish Mennonite community. And uh, it was a just Interesting. entirely different life, sure. that's right. for sure. Yeah. But uh, and a lot of buggies. Then uh, the other thing I was going to ask you, then you decided to um, take the lab tech, uh, library technician? Yeah, um, I was 50. Okay. And uh, I don't know, I don't think there was any particular reason. I just was the kids were all gone except Susan, and I just needed something else to sure. do, I think. And uh, so one of my friends was telling me about it, and it was, uh, I think it was just six months. But uh, then uh, Ivy Tech asked me to work for them, and so I was with them for 18 tell, years. Tell them that for the first of Ivy Tech was over where St. Anne's Church in Lafayette is. Yeah. Okay. On well, Wabash had, Avenue. It had been a uh, one time a parochial school, but mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. now vacant, and that's yeah. where they first started. Yeah. Was sure. just the library in there, or was it all no, the library? All, the, all the classes. Well, the uh, nursing classes were held at Homa Hospital. Oh, okay. And right. then I think there was an automotive class that was held on Canal Road at some garage. Okay. But uh, the rest of them were okay. at that site. And then. Uh, then they moved to Jefferson. Jeff. Now classes were held there as well. Oh yeah, the library? yeah. Okay, yeah. so that was the that was the campus. Yeah, that okay. was the campus. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And then we had the library, and then when they opened the building out there in Creasy, well, then we had two libraries. The one at um, Jefferson was a main library, right. and that's where I worked. And then we had a smaller technical right. library out there. What at uh, Creasy where they currently are? There doesn't there used to be a home out there or some sort of? A I really don't know. No, it was a, yes, it was a sanitarium. Right of for TB. Well, where my grandmother, she had an aunt that was there, and it was TB. It was a TB hospital. Okay. A county TB hospital. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then Ivy Tech bought, and of course they've expanded it. Oh um, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, the new buildings are beautiful. Yeah, I try. Yeah, really I should go in there. I've driven by. They had a recent detour. You had to swing by there going down 52. And you had to swing by a little oh, detour. So yeah. I had. I usually don't go down that way, but I yeah. did. Yeah. What sort? What department did you work in in the library? Uh, well, um, we just were there yeah. to maintain the library for the most part. Okay. Um, and then uh, I became the coordinator. And uh, you know, did everything, the books, and supervised the other people, and yeah. And then there was uh, the girl whose place I took had a library degree from IU, you know. Sure. Six years, I think, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever. And she wasn't happy that I <laughs> took the job, but <laughs> well, she was a nice girl. But one thing she did was, and you know, when you work with students. Uh, they want to know certain things, you know. Well, I I felt that I should tell them where to look, let them do the looking, let them, but this girl, she went and did the looking, she helped them write their paper, and that was the reason she lost her job, because she really wasn't, uh, that's it's not good for the students, but that's not what the job's about. That's right. And I was, I was in charge of the one at uh, the technical library out on uh, Creasy, and uh, and then they asked me if I would move. That's the other right. Way, so. Did they uh, have computers out there when you were out there too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The library we converted it. To, you know that uh -huh. that was a big job. Right. Yeah. I think initially there was some sort of isn't there a tie-in with the what with the Lafayette Public Library? Yes, and, there is now. Uh, they they build a new building and and there's a public library there okay. and there's also the yeah. Ivy Tech Library. That's, it's been a while and I had forgotten. About yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. That's a new. Uh, and they they have a. Uh, librarian, uh, young man, um, can't think what his name is, and then the assistant librarian worked when I was there. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, it's run according to Hoy now. But we also had a big AV uh, section where uh, we had a lot of material, but we also, you know, the classes, the teachers, we had to get it set up. We had mm -hmm. to show somebody how to run it. And uh, so that's why my title was coordinator, okay. because and I was also the AV in the in library. today's time, it's the techie people, if the computer goes down, or the, it's usually the printer that does the work, right? 
My printer's not working now. <laughs> I'm waiting for Jim to come home. <laughs> Spare me, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, any things that I, uh, any changes that you've seen in the Lafayette landscape that's grown? Of course, the malls have come. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's changed and a lot. She lives on North on North 9th Street in uh -huh. Lafayette, which is... It's actually long. South 9th. Hmm? This is South Ninth. South or South, south Ninth. Street. Is is south, everything right. south is and north yeah. is Edward, right? Yeah, yeah. But it is really has a lot of lovely homes on there that have been yeah. here for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have the very old, very old. This house was built in fifty four. This was one big estate. This whole block there, and then three houses here was one big estate. Weatherall was his name, Doctor Weatherall, who gave money to start who built that lab. For yes, the yes. Yeah, yeah. This was his estate? State. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a block and a half, almost. Well, not quite, because my block goes all the way to Kasuth, but mm -hmm. three houses. And then I forget who bought it and built the houses, but it was a well-known builder here in Lafayette. Mm -hmm. But uh, 54, so. That's pretty nice, yeah. Yeah, it is, and it's it's a nice neighborhood. Everybody it's a handy neighborhood. cares about each other. Yeah, right, we exactly. really do. And the association. Well, of course, I'm handy. older and I get a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> Keep those coming. It makes the day. Which one will I go to today? Well, we'll have to see what comes in the morning mail. I'll let you know by noon where my decision is, you know. Um, anything I forgot? Anything on the uh, well, spars? W one thing, and I, we were gonna, I was going to ask you again, which you mentioned off camera. There were some anniversaries, and you did go to the twenty fifth, yeah, which mm -hmm. was in Palm Beach, right? Yeah, where yeah. you were trained. Yeah, I went to that one, but I didn't. Wasn't I? Can't remember now why. Mm -hmm. Could be my mother was ill. I think I had talked about going, but it was at St. Louis, which was closer. And I know that a couple of my spar buddies were at that one and they were unhappy I didn't sure. wasn't able to go but we have a rule family first all right <laughs> did you, do you still keep in touch are there still some of the people that no with the, you? my three friends that we we even got together in Chicago two of them lived in Chicago and but no they're all deceased, they're all deceased. yeah okay. yes okay. which makes it sad and yeah and I would have liked to have had at least somebody I knew at the reunion you know but I didn't have any mention again about that uh, testimony that you gave about uh, you were went in Washington D.C. Yeah. That uh, the, that was what was the nature of the inquiry? Well, I'm really not quite. It was called okay. um, it had a, a panel discussion, is what okay. they called it, and it was just to. Did, was it there was a lot of current spars there and current Coast Guard people sure. there, and uh, I think somebody told me it was 400 people that were there, and there were five of us that sat at a table at the head. And we uh, all told our experiences, and then we answered any questions. Mm -hmm. So there were five of us. Now, I don't know how they s selected us. or I Well, you know, I have this one friend that works at the Coast Guard office, so she knows. So that's probably how they got my name, but I don't know how they got sure, the other right. names. Because we don't have any organization or anything right. that we refer right. to now. But, uh, no, we were all... 85 to 89 our ages so <laughs> that's very did that was that just for the that particular age group or were there were other people that uh, no were on a no panel? it was just uh, the world war ii women okay mm -hmm. so there were some others that may have been a bit younger than you were that served as well yeah yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah well you had to be 20 to get in and oh, that's okay. what i was okay so i had to be one of the younger ones all right okay and uh, but good. i think we were all about the same in the same age bracket there were five of us and Two of them were from California, one from Florida. And I saw the one from Florida at uh, this last celebration, but the yeah. gals from California weren't there. But, uh, no. Did you, um, the other, there were three way, uh, three spars had their uniform on. Did you know any? No, I did Did you know any of the ones, there were about, what, 16 that were there at the? Uh, 18. 18, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the Christmas. I didn't know any of them, okay. none of them, except the two that I had met when we sure. went to Florida. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. But no, I didn't know any of them. It was kind of sad. But okay. You know, okay. there were 10,000 spars when we discharged in 1946, so right. I'm sure there ought to be several around. Hopefully, <laughs> yes. They're just hiding. They don't want to know. Yeah. Your, your neighbors don't want to know, right? Um, oh, I anything I that I forgot to ask on the spars? Any highlights you think you've covered or anything that I may have omitted? Well, um, when I was in New Orleans, uh, the commander down there, 
Was like, this for the christening? Or, no. Or when no, you lived there? When I was worked there. there yeah. Sorry. When uh, you he was great on celebrating holidays, and we always had, he'd take us to a nice restaurant, and we have nice meals. Probably did it three or four times a year. We celebrated the Coast Guard anniversary and uh, Veterans Day. I know we saw some of the national that. holidays. All of it, yeah. And he was, oh, you know, I remember one time we had uh, branded cher brandy cherries, cherries soaked cherry, in brandy. Like that cherry jubilee thing? <laughs> yeah, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, On top of ice cream. <laughs> oh, that, that, not, not recently, though. Oh, well, I and I think we had, we kind of helped ourselves. We all had headaches the next morning. It's <laughs> a good sign. That's good one sign. memory I don't want. But, oh, it was so good. We'd never had anything like that before. But, oh, it didn't you gave us all a swift kick. But And, uh, no, it, it was, uh, I, I just have no complaints at all. I just, the people were nice. Everybody was nice. And uh, the Coast Guard was exceptionally nice. And, uh, no, I'm very proud of the Coast Guard. I'm proud of what they do today. And. I haven't met anybody that I didn't think should be in it, you know, they just really are. And the nice thing is, as you mentioned in both of this and the time before, there's a lot of camaraderie and you kept in touch with yeah. many some of the people afterwards. Yes, you know. yes, yes, we have, yeah. Uh, Connie Bray, who was a uh, first lieutenant, is, uh, she works out of the Washington office and she's just been so accommodating and so nice to us. And, uh, I want to subscribe to the Coast Guard magazine, and she's going to let me do that. So. Oh, that's good. That's I good. didn't know anything about it, but I'd like to. And the, she said they were going to have a special article about the spa reunion, and so we'll see how that goes. That's right. <laughs> well, I think our next thing will be when we have the commissioning of the Dorothy Stratton, which is for the researchers <laughs> in 2012, which yeah. is uh, just around the corner, yeah. thereabouts. Yeah, yeah, well. Um, I told you I'm going. Oh, I know. <laughs> I got that on my calendar then. Thank you, Betty, very much. <laughs>